Hi there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, I'm Charlotte. I am a student veterinary nurse, an RSPCA foster mom, and all round animal enthusiast. So last weekend, me and my friend Anna Mae, who is basically the girl's auntie, took the girls for a walk around the local woods. Because Tofu was found out in woodland in a rat trap, we know that she has had some experience out in the wilderness and the woods and that kind of thing. But for Miso and Tempeh, this was a brand new experience. Hello. Can you smell coffee? Can you smell coffee on me? For Tempeh and Miso, it was a brand new experience. I didn't really know how they were going to react to it. They've been out on pavement walks around about where I live, but it was the first time they'd been anywhere that was sort of quiet and earthy and a bit more natural. I do have all three of my girls vaccinated against distemper, hepatitis and parvovirus. It's the same vaccine that they use for dogs. I would recommend having your ferrets vaccinated before taking them outside of your home purely because they are susceptible to things like distemper. So it helps reduce the risk of them sort of picking up anything nasty while they're outside, particularly in woodland where wild animals live. Oh, look at you. Aren't you the cutest little weasel? Hey, are you holding my finger? So here's a little look at what the girls got up to on their first venture into the woods. Today, P and Anna Mae are taking the ferrets out for a walk. Um, it's their first walk sort of away from the house, so it'll be interesting. Giving your carrier a new outing, aren't we? Or your new carrier an outing, should I say. Where are we going, girlies? Hey? Bless them. Who's gonna love digging? Yeah. So, remember you are still on a lead. Can't just go where you want. Tempo's just like, no, I'm good. Do you want to take Toe? Yeah. It's just like, I'm, I've, got, I've got stuff to do. Yeah. Ferret business. Is that nice? Are you raring to go? Are you raring to go? <laughs> you got sneeze. Are you dirty? Did you get dirty? Are you having fun? What are you doing, Tove? Here comes Misa. Oh my gosh, she's getting like cover under this tree. <laughs> are you gonna have a go? <laughs> Look at the state of you. You're fully in, aren't you? Hello monkey. My little stoat. <laughs> well that's what happens when you get your nose full of dirt, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> They're like, no, the tree. I love my tree. Yeah, they keep just wanting to stay in the same place, which is kind of annoying. Because um, that's not really what a walk is. It's called a walk, not a stay in one place. Mm. Hey. Tofu's like, I don't care. Miso, you're going the wrong way. We're not going that way. Look at you. Have a good time. Oh. Wow. It's really green, isn't it? It's really green. <laughs> oh, oh, mummy. <laughs> She's liking it in the leaves here. <laughs> Toby. <laughs> Meanwhile. 
Don't bite me. We've lost Tempe to the leaves. We need a third person. Yeah, Mark. we do need Mark. Oh, Tofu's off. Yeah. Nice dirt. She loves dirt. <laughs> this is not a good place to be. It? <laughs> it's not a good place. Best gal. So we're just on our way home because Miso and Tempe got a bit overexcited and a bit warm. Um, and I dropped my phone and I've broken the screen. So that's the job for me to get fixed tomorrow, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm hoping because I have an Android, it's not going to be as expensive as an iPhone. But um, yeah, I guess we'll see. Uh, are you having a good time? She's loving looking out the window. Is she? Get the wind in her hair. So yeah, so we didn't want to overdo it. It is quite warm today, so we're just going to take them home and give them something to drink and hang out inside. <laughs> Some inside fun now. Inside time. Everybody is suitably knackered from their little walk today. Absolutely dead to the world. Are you all tuckered out from your fun day out? I don't know what your excuse is, you haven't been anywhere. Hey? I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun and really challenging taking all three of them out at once. It's definitely something I would like to do again. I am working at trying to get them better at walking all together because they do kind of go all over the place. So hopefully we'll have some more ferret walkie videos to come and hopefully in the future they will understand what's going on and not try and run all over the place. As I mentioned in the video, it is kind of difficult trying to walk all three of them when there is only one of me or even with two people, it can be quite difficult. So hopefully that's something that I can get them used to and actually going for proper walks instead of just running amok. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more ferrety and other animal content and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye.